The best places to visit in China China is a vast country with the greatest number and variety of attractions which are much more than 10. Our video covers the most famous attractions in China to help travelers plan their China tours. China's diverse territory endows the country with some of the most beautiful natural scenery on earth. From the picturesque landscapes, from the colorful lakes to the Yungang grottos China's natural beauty is as impressive as its splendid culture. Number 1. The Great Wall of China In the eyes of most travelers, you haven't been to China if you haven't climbed the Great Wall. One of the iconic symbols of China, the Great Wall is the longest wall in the world. An awe-inspiring feat of ancient defensive architecture, its winding path over rugged country and steep mountains takes in some great scenery. It deserves its place among the new seven wonders of the world and the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in China. The wall spans from China's western frontier to the east coast, totaling around 5,000 kilometers 3,100 miles, but the most integrated and best preserved sections are close to Beijing. Number 2, Beijing the Forbidden City. The Imperial Palace for 24 Emperors. It was once a palace city where ordinary people were forbidden entry. An extravagant demonstration of ancient Chinese architecture. Over 8,000 rooms with golden roofs are elegantly designed and painted in red and yellow. The Forbidden City was the imperial palace of the Ming and Qing dynasties for 560 years till 1911. 24 emperors lived there. World Cultural Heritage, and now known as the Palace Museum, among Chinese, it is a treasure house of Chinese cultural and historical relics. It is recognized as one of the five most important palaces in the world, with the Palace of Versailles in France, Buckingham Palace in the UK, the White House in the US, and the Kremlin in Russia. Number 3, Shanghai. Shanghai is China's prosperous largest city. China's biggest city oozes an atmosphere of vitality which can rival New York and Paris in terms of modernity. As one of the world's leading economic and business cities, Shanghai's modernity is evidenced by the ambitious skyline. Here you can experience the world's fastest train, enjoy some leisure time in Chinese gardens and water towns, visit Disneyland, have a bird's eye view of the financial center. The old town of Lijiang is located on the Lijiang Plain at an elevation of 2,400 meters in southwest Yunnan, China, where a series of strategic passes give access through the surrounding mountains. The old town of Lijiang, which is perfectly adapted to the uneven topography of this key commercial and strategic site, has retained a historic townscape of high quality and authenticity. Its architecture is noteworthy for the blending of elements from several cultures that have come together over many centuries. Li Zhang also possesses an ancient water supply system of great complexity and ingenuity that still functions effectively today. Number 5. Hong Kong. As a special administrative region of China, Hong Kong is situated on the southeast coast of China, occupying an area of 426 square miles, 1,104 square kilometers. The city is one of the world's leading financial, banking and trading centers. An open city with a wonderful natural harbor, it is a place where various cultures blend harmoniously. British culture can be found everywhere as a result of former colonial rule. While it also preserves traditional customs and the core values of Confucianism that have faded in mainland China, it is the backdrop for modern movies and pop music that enjoy worldwide recognition. The Stone Forest Kunming Stone Forest, Shilin in Chinese, is a spectacular set of limestone groups and the representative of South China's karst landscape. Known since the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644, as the first wonder of the world, it is one of the most important attractions of Yunnan. 
An old local goes that if you have visited Kunming without seeing the stone forest, you have wasted your time walking through the site. Visitors marvel at the natural stone masterpieces and are bewitched by the intricate formations. The magnificent, strange and steep landscape creates countless labyrinthine vistas, including Greater Stone Forest, Lesser Stone Forest and Nagu Stone Forest. The Tiger Leaping Gorge is one of the deepest gorges on the planet, and it has the best hiking trail in the Lijiang area. Foreign backpackers started hiking in the area in the 1980s. One of the deepest canyons in the world with a good path high above the Yangtze River to get away from the throbbing roar of the river and inexpensive accommodations along the way. The valley is part of a UNESCO natural preservation area called the Three Parallel Rivers World Heritage Site, and it is also a part of China's Three Parallel Rivers National Park. This area is important ecologically for wildlife preservation and is the headwaters for three of Asia's biggest rivers. The Leshan Giant Buddha is a statue of Maitreya, a bodhisattva usually represented as a very stout monk with a broad smile on his face and with his naked breast and paunch exposed to view in sitting posture. The Buddha is located to the east of Leshan City, Sichuan Province, at the confluence of three rivers, namely, Min River, Kunyi River, and Dadu River. The statue makes itself the most renowned scenic spot in that city. Facing the river, the Buddha has symmetrical posture and looks which have been beautifully captured in its solemn stillness. It is 71 meters, about 233 feet, high, and has 8.3 meter long, about 27 feet, fingers. Dali Old Town is a historic town with rich culture located between Kangshan Mountain and a high lake with profound biculture. Wander in the Old Town to have leisure exploration about city gates. Old towers, or old streets, temples, churches, museums, shops and bars. Dali or Old Town, first built in Ming Dynasty, is a historic town with rich culture. It is also the ancient capital of Nangzhao Kingdom and Dali Kingdom. Now, it is the treasure land of bi-ethnic minority showing their traditions and culture. The Yungang Grottoes, in Datong City. Shanxi Province, with their 252 caves and 51,000 statues, represent the outstanding achievement of Buddha's cave art in China in the 5th and 6th centuries. The five caves created by Tan Yao, with their strict unity of layout and design, constitute a classical masterpiece of the first peak of Chinese Buddhist art. The five caves created by Tan Yao are a classical masterpiece of the first peak of Chinese art, with a strict unity of layout and design. The will of the state is reflected in Buddhist belief in China during the Northern Wei dynasty since the grottoes were built with imperial instructions, 